Rangers and Patriots from Connect Stadium. Now, early on, the handoff goes to Caden Thomas, and he's in there for the touchdown to open up the scoring in this one. Rangers go up 7-0, and the support in the stands was in full effect tonight. Always love to see things like that. Meanwhile, Granger's back on offense now. Malik Kemp play action pass to Malachi Rinder Fanning to double the lead to 14 nothing. LaGrange having their way early on in this game, and you see the fans yet again in the stands getting creative with their support. Gotta love the push-ups, man. It seems to be in real effect. We see you. Patriots on offense now looking to get back in the game, and Caden Clay is picked off by Granger linebacker Harris Grace as he takes it back up the sideline, and he could go all the way. Touchdown, Granger's, and they take a three-score lead lead and we'll go on to win this one 50 to 29. Meanwhile, now to the battle of the counties, Russell taking on Harris. The Russell County Warriors got the ball first and relied on their run game to get within striking distance. But the Harris County defense stood tall and forced a fumble at the one yard line. The Russell County High School band still cheered on their team regardless of the turnover. Meanwhile, with momentum on their side, the Tigers would take advantage as quarterback Levi Watson would take this 15-yard quarterback keeper into the end zone to put the Tigers on the scoreboard first, the Tiger band showing love to the home team. Meanwhile, the Warriors look to respond in the second quarter by taking the top off the Tiger defense, but cornerback Randarius Ogletree would stop the Warriors' drive dead in his tracks. The Warriors would come back but fall short to the Tigers 30-27. Now over to my alma mater, Smith Station, where the Panthers hosted the Pleasant Grove Spartans. Panthers ball, number 12, Brody Dixon, looking for number 24, fumble recovered by number three, Cameron Warmly. This would be a start of a play that would go either way. Second quarter now, Panthers ball, Dixon looking for number one, tips him off into number three, Warmly, pick six for Pleasant Grove. Very unfortunate there, but play must go on. Panthers ball now. Dixon looking for his guy. It would be intercepted by well, yet again Pleasant Grove. 54 to 14 is that final in favor of the Spartans. Meanwhile, coming up, we check in on another 